Okay, so we've got um, 8x plus 14 over x plus 5 squared 2x minus 2 squared 2x minus 2. All right, so notice a couple of things. This one, the denominator is already factored for us, so we don't have to do the factoring. So the denom is already factored. Very, very nice. And you'll notice that the factors are linear. Exponent is 1. Exponent is 1. They're linear. One of the factors is repeated twice. That's it. So, and the x plus 5 factor is repeated twice. Therefore, the fra partial fraction decomposition for that factor is going to have two terms. The partial fraction decomposition for this is going to have one term. So we're going to have a total of three terms. And here's what it looks like. So it's going to be 8x plus 14 over x plus 5 squared times 2x minus 2 is equal to... Okay, we'll take the first factor. We'll deal with x plus 5 first. It's going to be a over x plus 5 to the first power plus b over x plus 5 to the second power. That's it. Because that's 2, that's 2, I can stop. Now move to the next factor, plus c over 2x minus 2. The first power, that's it. It's a first power, it only shows up once. That's it. Now we do what we do. Well, um, the least common denominator, I already know what that is. That's just, the, well, let's see. So the least common denominator is x plus 5 squared times 2x minus 2, which actually is that thing. So the numerator becomes, so the numerator on the right becomes a times x plus 5, because here x plus 5 is only once, but the least common denominator has it twice. So a times x plus 5 plus b times 2x minus 2 plus c times x plus 5 squared equals ax plus 5a. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one. It's a times x plus 5 times 2x minus 2. Forgot one. Plus b times 2x minus 2 plus c times x plus 5 squared. There we go. That equals a times x squared, uh, 2x squared. <laughs> you can see how things can go south very quickly. 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 plus 2bx minus 2b plus c times x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 2ax squared plus 8ax minus 10a plus 2bx minus 2b plus cx squared plus 10cx plus 25c. Okay. Now let's go ahead and combine. So x squared, x squared. Then we're going to take the uh, x term, x term, x term, and then number, number, number. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So our final is going to be 8x plus 14 over x plus 5 squared times 2x minus 2, that's going to equal x squared times 2a plus c 
plus x times when I combine those terms. 8a plus 2b plus 10c plus minus 10a minus 2b plus 25c all over x plus 5 squared times 2x minus 2. So because the denominators are the same, the numerators are the same, and the only way they can be the same is if coefficients of corresponding terms are equal. Therefore, 2a plus c, 2a plus c equals, over here there is no x squared term, which means it's zero. 8a plus 2b plus 10c, that's the coefficient of the x term. The coefficient of the x term is equal to 8 minus 10a minus 2b plus 25c is equal to 14. There you go. This is the system of equations that you have to solve. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of solving it. I hope you'll forgive me. I'd like you to uh, corroborate it if you can, either by using software or doing it by hand. I've done it here, but I really actually don't want to write everything out. So I end up with a is equal to minus 11 over 36. I get b Ah, where is it? I get b is equal to 167 over 72, and I get C is equal to 11 over 18. Those are my three coefficients. Therefore, let's rewrite what we had. Yes. So 8x plus 14 was our original rational function. We have x plus 5 squared times 2x minus 2. We said that it equals a over x plus 5 plus b over x plus 5 squared plus c over 2x minus 2. That equals minus 11 over 36 over x plus 5 plus 167 over 72 over x plus 5 squared plus 11 over 18 all over 2x minus 2. Now, the integral of this is the integral of this. And the integral of that breaks up into three integrals. Let me go back to blue. Equals minus 11 over 36 times the integral of 1 over x plus 5 dx plus, uh, yeah, plus uh, 167 over 72 times the integral of 1 over x plus 5 squared dx plus 11 over 18 times the integral of 1 over 2x minus 2 dx. The answers I get are minus 1136 times the logarithm of x plus 5 absolute value plus 167 over 72 times 1 over minus 1 times 1 over x plus 5. I hope this integration doesn't throw you guys off. Plus 11 over 18. This, this one is just set u equal to x plus 5. Do a u substitution. And then it ends up being uh, the integral of u to the minus 2 du and then some factor. Okay, 11 over 18 times 1 half, the natural logarithm of 2x minus 2. This 1 half term comes from the fact that that's a 2 plus c. There you go. Very, very, very nice. So very, very tedious, but um, a beautiful process.
Okay, so we've taken care of two cases here. We've taken care of a case where the denominator factors into linear factors that are distinct. Linear fact, we did also did the linear factors that possibly some are repeated. So we're going to stop here. Next lesson, we're going to do where it factors into linear and quadratic factors, and then linear and quadratic factors where some of the quadratic factors are now repeated. So uh, with that, thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.